Hi, I'm Aaron Heinem with Phoenix, and I'm here today with the new dry tag, which is part of the Drylink ecosystem of connected products. And this dry tag can be used on not only any brand of equipment, but any type of equipment. This is not only an asset tracking beacon, but it also gives you verified location information. As every time this beacon talks to a phone, it sends the GPS coordinates of the phone and the serial number of the unit it's attached to, to the cloud. You also get verified runtime information because it has an onboard accelerometer, which means that we know if the equipment is on or off because it can sense the vibration of the equipment when it's on. And because we can tell if it's on or off, we can also give you a notification if a homeowner turns off the piece of equipment or a breaker blows when you're using this in conjunction with the dry phone. Okay, so let's unbox the dry tag and see what we get. Okay, so here is the dry tag, the battery pull tab. We would unscrew this till we can pull this out. And if we unscrew this further, you can see this is our coin cell battery, CR2477. This is the, and here's the O-ring. We can put the top back on, careful not to cross thread it. Here's our two screws. Um, so that's what you get inside the package. Now let's uh, go into the app and see what it looks like when we set up a dry tag. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set up the piece of equipment in the app. So we're gonna go into the equipment section, click on the plus and click add equipment. And we're gonna type in the equipment name. Uh, we're gonna set up a Focus 2, so we're gonna call this Focus 2 0847, as that is the last uh, four digits of its serial number. Then we're gonna select the equipment type. This is an air mover, and we're gonna scroll down and select dual axial, as that's the type of air mover this is. And of course, the manufacturer is gonna be Phoenix. And for the model, we're gonna enter the new Focus 2 from Phoenix. And once we have that, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna enter the serial number information. It's important to enter the serial number into the Drylink app as each piece of equipment is tracked individually. And it's also reported that way on the drying report. So once we have our serial number in, we could hit save and add another, but we're just making one piece of equipment in the app and we've completed that and now we're going to join the dry tag with the piece of equipment in the app. Now we'll start from the home screen again and we're going to click on the equipment tab and what you're going to see when you pull out the uh, the tab, the battery tab, is this blue bar that shows new dry tag discovered and if you click on that I'm just going to click off of it. So let's say you don't get the blue bar. You can hit this refresh button up here until you get the blue bar. And you click on view units. And that is indeed the dry tag UUID that we want. We're going to select the focus two and click OK. And it says all dry tags have been added successfully. And that's all you have to do. Now if I go look for my focus two uh, dash 0847. You can see it has the dry tag banner on it. And if I go inside, you can see that it is now all set up in the Drylink app and ready to go. And that's all there is to it.